Hey, church family, as Acts 2 opens, the disciples are gathered together in Jerusalem, waiting. More than a week ago, Jesus ascended into heaven. Since that time, the disciples have been praying and waiting for the promised Holy Spirit. In verse 2, God shows up in the person of the Holy Spirit, and miraculous things begin to happen. The Holy Spirit fills the disciples, and these men, who in Jesus' darkest hour ran away, now run boldly into the streets, speaking in tongues to proclaim the gospel. Peter, who denied Jesus three times, now stands among a crowd of thousands and boldly proclaims the gospel of Jesus Christ, and 3,000 believe and are baptized that day. As new believers are added to the church and the church grows, the church devotes itself to the apostles' teaching, to the fellowship, to the breaking of bread, and to the prayers. And as they gather, as they share everything together, and as they seek God, the Lord adds to their number daily those who are being saved. God can do more in a moment than we can do in a lifetime. Like the disciples at the beginning of Acts chapter 2, we find ourselves in a time of waiting. We're waiting to see what happens next. We're waiting to return to some sense of normalcy. We are waiting to see what God will do. While we wait, let us also pray. The waiting is not what transformed the disciples. The waiting was merely their declaration of dependence upon God. The presence of God is what transformed the disciples. So while we wait, let us declare our dependence on God. But let us also ask God to move miraculously among us.